Introducing the Mod Heart Loveless Books for Division 2 for 2021-2022. There are 10 titles in Division 2. Other Words for Home by Jasmine Warga. Jude is sent with her mother to the safety of a relative's home in Ohio when their Syrian hometown is overshadowed by violence. Jude adjusts to a new life with unexpected surprises. There is an Arabic proverb that says, she makes you feel like a loaf of freshly baked bread. It is said about the nicest, kindest people, the type of people who help you rise. A World Below by Wesley King. Mr. Baker's eighth grade class thought they were in for a normal field trip to Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico. But when an earthquake hits, their field trip takes a terrifying turn. Well, I found a chamber of glowworms, a giant rat, a forest. I fell off a cliff because of a scorpion, crossed over a bottomless pit, was almost eaten by a spider, and oh, I met a king. It Wasn't Me by Dana Allison Levy. When Theo's photography project is vandalized, the five students nearby all claim it was not them. So Theo's favorite teacher suggests they all spend vacation week together and get to the truth. What do we have to do to get out of here? When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jamison and Omar Mohammed. Omar and his younger brother Hassan live in a refugee camp. And when an opportunity for Omar to get an education comes along, he must decide between going to school every day or caring for his nonverbal brother. Be like a star, shine your light, shine your story, for stories will lead us home. Inkling by Kenneth Oppel. A boy from a family overshadowed by grief and creative blocks rediscovers his imagination when an ink blot from his artist's father's sketchbook comes to life and helps the family figure out what they truly need. The ink rippled as if a stiff wind blew across it. It trembled, tensed, and then sprang. Boy Bites Bug by Rebecca Petrick. To fix a situation between his best friend and a new student, Will Nolan eats a live stink bug, gaining popularity and a class project idea, but perhaps losing a friend. It was only a stink bug, but if it freaked out and sprayed, he'd be smelling skunk for hours. The Remarkable Journey of Coyote Sunrise by Dan Guymanhart. 12-year-old Coyote and her father rushed to Poplin Springs, Washington in their old school bus to save a memory box buried in a park that will soon be demolished. Losing something can sure make you realize how much you loved it, even if you knew you loved it all along. Game Changer by Tommy Greenwald. While 13-year-old Teddy fights for his life after a football injury at training camp, his friends and family gather to support him and discuss events leading to his coma. Hospital Admittance Report, Edward Youngblood, 13-year-old male, head trauma, possible intracranial bleed, no external injuries, comatose, needs total respiratory care, condition critical. Blended by Sharon M. Draper. 11-year-old Isabella feels like a push-me-pull-me toy after her parents' divorce. People's comments about her mixed race leave Isabella unsure about her identity. Is she only seen as half of this and half of that? How can she ever feel whole? Chocolate Family meets Vanilla Family in the artificial reality that is a mall. Carmel Daughter caught helplessly between the two. The Line Tender by Kate Allen. 
Following a tragedy that further alters the course of her life, 12-year-old Lucy Everhart decides to continue the shark research her marine biologist's mother left unfinished when she died years earlier. Everyone was excited about the huge dead shark hanging at the wharf, but all I wanted was a cool shower and something to drink. Read three or more of these titles and you will be able to vote for your favorite next March. Happy reading!